YouTube, what is up? It's AD with US Squads. I hope you're having a great day. Does this thing look familiar to you guys? This is uh, the very popular Crony Model F1. And uh, it's been an oldie and a goodie for quite some many years. Uh, it's time for us to upgrade to the new hotness. Now, this is not going away, uh, although there is new type of chronographs that uh, for our application going to be much more useful to use but this is still going to be uh, kept in our inventory because it still has a purpose um, what I'm going to particularly use this for is the chronograph pistol rounds um, this works really good to put it on a tripod raise it up and set up your little um, cover thing little triangle thing with these parts here and then you simply shoot through that with your pistol and you can get your speeds and data from that and that's uh, still an application that it's good for but what we want to talk about here is the magneto speed v3 now this is the new hotness literally and we're really excited about checking this out now this is pretty much a chronograph kit for your rifle um, it is becoming very popular in the shooting community as a tool and so we have this product that just came in um, and then we'll talk about this right here. So it has this hard case, and this is pretty much an unboxing. I'll do several videos regarding this particular item because um, I want to do a setup video and just show you guys how it works and then um, the unbox and quickie review. So uh, I've used this in the past, um, and it just took a minute for me to figure out uh, an option to get one in my hands. They're, pr they're a little bit pricey. The chronograph, uh, the crony, F1 is about a hundred bucks brand new. You can find them used all day long for about 75 bucks. These uh, retail at about 300, so 299. There's two models. There's the V3 and the Sporter model, and both are very similar except this has a, a lot more options to be able to mount to uh, different rifles, including suppressed weapons. So that is the reason why I had to go with the V3. I shoot a lot of suppressed weapons and so I needed the ability to mount that and use that for this. The Sporter model is uh, I believe $179, $180, so it's about $100 less but you have a few less options as far as what you're able to mount it to. So here we go. Let me just uh, unbox this and kind of go over what's inside. Uh, it's like a kind of a handgun case type of scenario. It's uh, yay big. And let's see what's inside. So I'm going to move this XFR adapter. This is a different video, but I did also buy this kit also. So I'll talk about that in a minute, but it does not come with this part right here. This part um, allows you to download the data from the, their little computer to your iPhone or Android app. So we'll talk about that. So I'm going to put this to the side because that's really not what this video is about right now. And let's talk about this stuff here. So here we go. Here's the box. It's foam cut. It has all the components um, here. Basically, this is called the bayonet. And this actually goes on the end of your rifle and we'll do a video on how that's done in a moment so this is the bit called the bayonet and basically this strap here goes on to the end of your 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 barrel and then you use a strap to strap it down and then what happens is the somehow this device reads the speed of the projectile and transmits that data to the little computer and we'll talk about that in a second so I'm gonna pull out some of the key parts the bayonet this is the actual computer, this little box here, and it's kind of nice because it's got a decent sized display, really simple, only three button operation, and then what happens is on the back you have a battery pack, really easy to access, you don't need a screwdriver. As you can see I have a, I have a 9 volt battery in here, but this will also take two CR123 batteries. So two one two three CR123 batteries also. So if you're in a pinch and you don't have your 9 volt battery what's cool is a lot of us shooters use devices that use the CR123 battery in a jam we can yank those batteries out of our surefire flashlights etc and use those to run this <coughs> magneto speed uh, computer if we need to so three buttons here battery opening on the very back on the very top is where the micro SD card goes into and then the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack now you can press all the buttons you want. This thing will not turn on until 
um, you actually plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack into that top slot right here. And also, just to note, um, it has this nice bevel. So when it actually sits on your workbench, it actually is angled right at you to have a nice view rather than being perfectly square. If it was perfectly square, it would be angled like that. But because of this nice little 40 degree cut, it actually sits perfectly aimed up at your eyesight. So that's kind of a nice feature. So let's put the computer here. What we have here is some other components. Um, we have, this is very critical um, for setting up the V3. Uh, this is your alignment rod, and we'll talk about this uh, a little bit more in detail when we get into the setup, but this is the alignment rod, and you'll actually uh, kind of miss out on that if you're not paying attention. So the alignment rod, and then you have five different spacers and little things to make it so when you set it up on your barrel, you have it set up correctly and not too high or not too low. And that's again, we'll talk about that also in just a moment. So you have five different spacers that you can look at. And this thing here is for your suppressor. So this is like a heat shield for your suppressor. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, if you're gonna chronograph, let's say your 308 with a 30 cal suppressor on there, um, if you're doing any type of fast firing or rapid fire drills, that suppressor is gonna get really hot. Okay, and when I say really hot, I'm, it's gonna get hot. So you have to keep that in mind and that could be an issue and you also want to make sure you don't want to run that suppressor too hot that it starts melting shit okay so just keep that in mind but this is a heat shield to help out with that but keep in mind use common sense if you're doing um, 10 shot strings and your suppressor is getting extremely hot just let it cool down otherwise you could start melting stuff this heat shield isn't a guarantee that it's not going to damage your uh, chronograph if you get your suppressor running way too hot Okay, we have our uh, fairly long um, cable, 3.5 millimeter cable. Um, this will this connects to your bayonet and goes to your little computer. And I'm just going to call this a computer because uh, I don't know what else to call this thing. Okay, so this is your LCD readout slash computer, and so these two connect together via this 3.5 millimeter jack cable. So here's also another one that's retractable. I actually do not know if this comes with it. Um, this came second hand, so I'm actually not sure if this little retractable one comes with it. I don't think it does, but we'll check the manual and see because some the guy that previously owned this might have left this in here. Okay, you're going to have your micro SD card, which we talked about. They're going to give you one, so if you don't have one in the box, uh, you need one. Um, it actually comes with the uh, it actually comes with the device. So just a little, uh, hopefully that's in there for you guys. And that simply goes, that micro SD simply goes in the top right there. They included some business cards. i um, not quite sure why, but maybe they think that you'll just hand them to your buddies, which is, you know, it's a pretty cool thing. So I guess that's smart. They actually cut that foam to, <laughs> to make sure those cards sit in there too. So it's definitely uh, something they wanted in there. In the very back of the case, on the top hinge, you're going to have your manual. And this manual is going to be pretty important, guys. Uh, definitely go through the quick start and read through it real quick because uh, it does have some critical information as far as how to set this up. And, of course, I'll do a setup video for you guys, too. But, you know, you just want to go through it firsthand and get things set up. And there's some Allen keys and screws and stuff that also are included. I think that's to mount this stuff together. I've never screwed these things together. They actually kind of interlock. So you can just interlock those and you're going to be good to go. So here we go, we got the bayonet is the core component, the computer, your data cable to connect all these together, and then your spacers and alignment rods and stuff. So that's pretty much what's in the box. And now what we want to do is we're going to do a video and show you guys how to connect that and uh, and that's pretty much it. And there's just this little plastic thing. You probably saw this little plastic. This is just it's how it comes when it's new. So I'm actually going to yank that off. And I'm actually going to grab one of these, not really, uh, just these phone shields that you can get for a few bucks at Radio Shack. And I'm actually going to cut one out to fit this just to protect this because this is going to end up in the dirt and it's going to get banged around with some other tools. So we're just going to protect that screen so it doesn't really scratch that up. Again, it's a $300 item I like to take care of. I mean, I'm not a pussyfoot when it comes to handling my gear, but I definitely like to uh, protect it if I can, so do some pre-preventative pre stuff. So we're actually going to put a little shield on 
this screen just to protect that screen and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you power it up um, again you just simply gotta put anything into this hole it'll boot up and it will uh, go through its setup mode here and we'll talk about that setup mode as, as you can see it says bayonet unplugged and then you can see uh, some of my shots from yesterday and we had all sorts of stuff going on so you can archive series I mean all this stuff is really cool yeah there's no card sorry so okay so any questions or comments on the basic unbox please comment below we definitely appreciate you guys watching and definitely stay tuned for some of the other videos that are kind of come regarding this particular uh, v3 magneto speed so I'm gonna put the memory card in here get this set up get the shield on there and then we're going to take her to the range and show you guys what it's all about. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the quickie unbox review of the Magneto Speed uh, V3. You guys have a phenomenal day. Thank you.